Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V Diamond Rough, and I have a finish. Night on the Galactic Railway from Pretty Neat Creative. It's a 60 by 80. I did a little bit of a special treatment to this, so from Diamond Shop, the Electric Diamonds, which you can see here. Actually, so I put Electric Diamonds into the um, train which did it to the train I also did it to the window so I'm just going to see if I can there we go you can actually see them there what I'm going to do is these guys the electric diamonds because they are round on a square um, I am actually going to seal them in there because they are raised a bit higher and they're a different size anyway opinion on this one so first opinion if i go back to when i very first ordered it when i very first ordered it when it arrived i received somebody else's custom so i received a family picture of some sorts um, so I had been sent somebody else's custom so I was ropeable with that one I was really really pissed up and really horrified to think that they could send something personal like that to anybody without checking um, so that was my first experience uh, I have purchased through Pretty Neat Creative previously years ago one and a half years ago I thought I'd give them another go quality this time is better there's still some issues so um, sizing now that it is being drilled we will go um, so it's meant to be 60 by 80 um, hang on Doo -doo -doo. so it was yep yeah, it's 60 60 by hmm, 80, uh, 75, 79.5, so pretty true to size. Canvas, very easy to work with. It was a soft canvas, um, almost a velvety, but yeah. Um, now, quality of the drills. Where is it? Quality of the drills. This is only some. I don't tend to keep much in the way of trash, I tend to just throw it, but now let's see if I can get the camera. I had some really horrible looking stuff, I had top hats, I had knobbly bits with the dark ones, um, quite a, a lot but not a lot, so there were some that I was just like, I'll use it, I like the crunching sound, and I haven't got any popping drills, so those little knobbly bits weren't too severe so that's one side of it um, you, know, you can see a bit more a little bit of trash in there just little bits and pieces of, of crap basically is all that is not drills but just trash okay next thing was quantity I didn't run out did not run out however I got nervous so my main colors um, were these guys and I got nervous I got I don't get nervous on colors very often um, but basically I'd be lucky to have about 70 spare drills of this one which was one of my main colors um, yeah I, I did I got nervous I got very nervous on some of them I didn't run out I did get nervous I have excessive of this the pink but that was the one that I replaced with the sparkler so I'm gonna go ahead and tip these out because I don't keep my drills anymore oh actually I don't know I'll empty these out off camera and I'll come back to you um, I'll come back to you then so the quick thing though is canvas was quite easy to work with um, no popping drills I am just going to quickly get the aqua glue out and for those of you that go you know sealing a diamond painting most of the time don't worry about it 
but then it also depends on the company. But what I tend to do when I use the aqua glue is I will actually put it where I want it to go and then I actually will rub it in with my fingers. It gets a bit gunky, but what it does do, it makes sure those drills are going to stay down. And if they're going to come up, they're actually going to be stuck to your finger. Um, but I'm only sealing this purely because I've got the electric diamonds and I don't want them to come out. Because they will pop out because they are a different size. They're a different size to the actual um, drills. And aqua glue does not affect um, the canvas. And I mean, I, <laughs> I'm actually putting quite a lot of pressure on my hand there which is really pushing the glue in. I mean, as a crafter, I work with resin, so you know, a little bit of aqua glue is nothing. But that'll go in and that will be fine. Okay, so that's the only sealing I'm doing. This will then now be, just grab a wipe, which I'll move locations up. So I'm just going to get a baby, uh, just a disinfectant wipe, I don't know, dead old wipe. Just to wipe it off. <laughs> Got tingly fingers from pressing on the drill so hard. Um, but yeah, this will now just have to sit. I do like my diamond paintings to sit for quite a while before I t turn around and... Um, hang on. <laughs> I do like my diamond paintings to sit for quite a while before I frame them at it anyway. Most of the time, I do like to have them framed, uh, have something over the top of them just in case. Um, but yeah, there we go. Quantity of drills, yeah, didn't have much. Yeah, I was very nervous about how much I was going to have. Had a lot of static, lots of static. Um, all in all, that was an enjoyable, enjoyable one. Over drills, probably about half of one of these little jars. Detail. So, one of the things that concerns me when I get diamond paintings with so few colours is how the detail is going to turn out. So, this one had 27 colours. So, 27 colours, even in a big in a big one, is probably. I was nervous. I didn't think it was enough colours. Um, because of the sky. Uh, and down here, down here, there was a lot of colour blocking, so it didn't make that much of a difference. Hang on, there we go. Um, the detail is enough where you can see the detail here, you can see the people, although they've got the little lights probably affecting it. Very sparkly. Um, the people, there we go, the people with the telescope sitting there. So the detail is there. It is enough to be able to recognise it. Um, but yeah, I am actually happy with the way this has turned out. So gems, um, yeah, would I recommend them? I will say hesitantly only because my experience getting the wrong diamond painting. 
um, is probably the only thing that I would say against it. Um, the canvas is great to work with. Drills, there was some crash, but nothing too major. And the images come out lovely. So yeah, gems on that note, I will say thank you for joining me. Um, another completion, which means another kidding up I'll get to do. <laughs> Maybe not, I need to get some more completed first. Uh, anyway, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and um, bye for now.